everyone. I'm Jen, and this is my daughter, Morgan, and we are coming live from our Perler Lab. We're so excited that you decided to join us today for today's project. We're really excited because we are making an awesome journal and some other fun accessories that go with Teacher Appreciation Day and Week. Are you so excited? Yes. Yeah, so am I. So we love our teachers and they've worked very, very hard this year, whether they are online, in school, whether your teacher was your parent, um, whether it's your piano teacher, a any kind of coach, your Bible school teacher, but we just want to do a project that we can utilize and give as a gift and say thank you. So we're gonna get started. Okay, so the, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go over the supplies that we need. So when you signed up for the class, you should have received an email. Um, mom and dad probably got that. And it included a downloadable printable pattern sheet, right? Yeah. So this shows three small apples and a big apple, which is part of the projects that we're doing today. So that's the first thing that you need. You well, go also need <laughs> um, a clear headboard. Right, so a clear square large pegboard and these are available um, in a two pack so it worked out great morgan's using one and i'm using the other but most importantly today you need your beads <laughs> so um, we are using the eleven thousand bead jar and what morgan and i did was before the class we decided to separate the colors um, it's just a little bit easier especially because we're teaching the class Certainly that's not a big deal if you didn't get a chance to do that. Uh, you can scoop them out, lay them on your surface. You can separate as we go. Um, that, but any way that works for you, you'll kind of find that as you're doing a perler project, you'll find what works best for you. Um, it's a great way to be creative and you can do it your way. So Morgan, why don't you read the colors that we're going to use out of the jar today? So your colors that you will need is red, Salmon, 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 white, lagoon, and black. Right, so Morgan and I pulled out those colors and we put them in the tray. So another item that you're gonna need for today's class is the uh, ironing paper. So ironing paper looks like this and it comes with both the 11,000 bead jar and also comes in the two pack of the clear plastic pegboards. But what is great about ironing paper? It is reusable. You can reuse it time and time again. So that's great. So we have our ironing paper all ready to go. Um, we also have a tweezers. That's optional. Sometimes Morgan uses a tweezers. Sometimes she doesn't, depending on you know, what she feels like doing. I like to use a tweezers. It's just a little bit easier for me to do the project, but it's it's to whatever your preference is. So also you're going to need an iron today. So would you remember what's important about the iron? It's a regular household iron, but no steam and no water. Right. So you don't want to put water and um, have steam come out of your iron. So when it's time to use the iron, we'll ask you to get mom, dad, or an adult at home in the room, help you get it plugged in and help you do the ironing to fuse the beads. So we have some extra things with us today. We got some journals. We're gonna show you how to make a great teacher gift with a journal. Um, we can make a bookmark out of the apples. We also have paper clips. So we have a lot of fun stuff. Um, a scissors would be good if you have that nearby to cut the ribbon for the bookmark. And then we also recommend a craft glue uh, so you can put the uh, ribbon and the paper clip onto the Perler project. You could also use a hot glue gun. But again, if you have that at home, please make sure you're asking mom, dad, or an adult to help you with that. So I think we're ready to get started, right? Yes. Okay. So we're going to get started. We're going to put our pegboard over the pattern sheet. And we're just going to mention that Morgan, who is full pull in helping us with the project had a little accident on the playground yesterday so she's right-handed and her right hand is sprained so she's going to try to do her best with her left hand 
um, we'll see how she does, but we, she didn't want to miss it and wanted to be here. So she loves the class and didn't want to miss all you guys who signed up for it. So just bear with us a little bit. Um, maybe you should try your office at hand and see how it works for fun, but we'll get started. And Morgan will start with a small one and I'll start with the big apple. Right. So I think we're ready, right? Okay. I think I'm going to be starting with the small half apple. Half apple. Okay. So you line your pegboard on top of the pattern and you'll see the peg lines up with each of the round circles for the color. I like to do my perler projects by color. It's entirely up to you. So you could work from top to bottom, left to right. I like to do all the same colors at once. So I'm going to start with Lagoon and do the top of the big apple. And so far for my mini half apple, I'm starting with the red. Great. So I put my beans in my hand and pick them up with the tweezers because that's what's easier for me. But certainly you can put them on your work surface and pick them up with your fingers. Hopefully everyone that's doing the project has a awesome teacher in mind who they might want to give the gift to. Yes. Morgan has had amazing teachers um, throughout her time in elementary school. She has a great teacher right now. What's his name? Mr. Hathaway. Mr. Hathaway. He is Morgan's the, home, the fourth grade teacher. We have a lot of people without the pattern. Okay. Past, Zima has put it in the chat. Okay, sure. Okay, so um, everyone that's typing in our Q&A with no pattern, just bear with us a second. Um, Zima, we think, um, could be out there. She's helped us a lot on, on some of our Perler camera. If you could drop it into the Q&A for us, we would really appreciate it. You guys at home, just bear with us for a few minutes. Sorry about that. Okay, guys, actually, I think you can't drop a file in here, but we could drop a link um, to a drive. So if you guys can put the PDF in a drive, we could drop the link in the chat and everybody could click on it and get it. Okay, so will you tell Jen to do that? Okay, sorry about that, everybody hang in there. So while we're waiting for the pattern sheet, Morgan will just keep going. It's gonna take her a little bit longer. And those of you at home that have the pattern sheet, go ahead and keep going because there's plenty of apples to do. And in the Q and A, you guys um, ask what are you? You guys can just tell us what apple are you doing? That's a good one. Are you doing the big one? Here's the other thing I want to mention to our friends at home is, um, like we're doing a pattern. We're doing the pattern as is, and you can see on our journal where you can see the inside of the apple. If that's something you didn't want to do, and it's like a half. Yeah, you could do the lines. You could keep the lines going. Um, you could do all one solid color. That's what's great with um, our Perler Bead projects because you can get as creative as you want. And here's one where it is not a half. And change up colors, right? So for those of you that are waiting for the pattern sheet, we would love to hear in the Q&A, who is your favorite teacher? We'd love to give a shout out to them while we're online. Um, this is on michaels.com YouTube channel afterwards. You can show it to your teacher. We can try to give them a shout out. We would love for you to tell us we love Mr. Hathaway. 
Um, yeah. We've had great teachers, right? Mrs. Yeah. Daniels, Ms. Moyer. Ms. Moyer, Mrs. Haynes, Ms. Murphy. Mrs. Murphy. We have so many good ones. So please tell us your favorite teacher and we'll give them a shout out. They'll love it, right, Morgan? Mr. Yes. Hathaway's gonna love it when he sees our live. How's it going with your hand? Good. Yeah, you're not doing too bad. But I would prefer my right hand open. Sure. <laughs> I bet. So you guys see I worked on the lagoon and the black, and now I'm working on the red. So that's a lot of the outside of the apple. And you know, the, the pegboard's gonna move, you just move it back. Sometimes if you wanna see if you're lined up, I move the pegboard away, I bring it back. But if, just remember you guys, if you guys mess up, mm -hmm. it's no worry. There's Don't no worry. mistakes. Just no try mistakes. it again. Anyways, if you do mess up with like a color, it could be like creative, it could be any color. It sure could. Or something. It sure could. How about your favorite subject, Morgan? What's your favorite subject mm -hmm. in school? Art, for sure. Art. Well, that doesn't surprise me. Mm -hmm. I love doing art. You guys want to tell us where you're from? I have a favorite teacher, Mrs. Roth. Mrs. Roth, a shout out to Mrs. Roth. Thanks for sharing your favorite teacher. Mrs. McCarthy. Mrs. McCarthy. McCarthy and Mrs. Benedict. Mrs. Benedict. Shout out to all these teachers. Thanks for all that you do. We know it is a our time this year. Yeah, it's a big job. How are you doing with your apple? I'm doing good. I'm putting all the red in. A Mr. Aries. Mr. Aries. Aries. Ooh. <laughs> Wonder what his zodiac is. Like. <laughs> See a Ms. Barnett and a Mrs. Bronte. Miss Barnett and Mr. and Bronte. Mrs. Bronte. Hey. Thanks, everyone. And we have a favorite teacher, Coach Preston. Coach Preston. Preston. We love our coaches, too. Uh, somebody says, I don't have a favorite. I love all my teachers. Uh, and that's a good one. Yes, we do love all our teachers. That is a really good one and so kind. Somebody gave us a joke. OK, Ooh. a joke. Where do fruit go on vacation? Where, Where do, you, do fruit go on vacation? Hawaii, because I guess that's where. Some fruits are in Hawaii. Where do fruits go on vacation? Where did you go for your birthday, Morgan? New York. And what did we tell The you? Big Apple. <laughs> <laughs> the Big Apple, that's such a good joke. Yes. Yes, Morgan <laughs> has traveled to the Big Apple, right? We went there for a birthday. Our Perler Lab isn't too far from New York, so it was a great weekend trip. Well, have you guys ever been to the Big Apple slash yeah. New York? <laughs> <laughs> Tell us if you've been to New York. Favorite teacher, Mrs. Burke. Mrs. Burke is a favorite teacher. Still working on the pattern sheet situation. Okay, and for those of you still waiting on the pattern sheet, 
we apologize. We are still working on it. So although Morgan and I keep going with our project, please know we haven't forgotten about you guys and we're doing the best we can. Yes. So hang tight, hang tight. Actually guys, the pattern is already in the chat. So if you wanna go on over there, um, you can Wonderful. start crafting. Wonderful. All right. So the so pattern is in the chat. You guys could grab it from there. Whoop. So I'm finished with red, and now I'm going to work on the salmon color. Well, you're doing great. Yeah, I just finished my mini half <laughs> apple. Great. Do you mind working on another one a while? No, I'll do okay. that one. Great. Hmm. Now I'm going to work on this apple, but I'm going to actually start off with a different color. So I'm going to start off with the salmon. The salmon, salmon. yep. <laughs> Let us know if we're going too fast or too slow. We know some of you just got the pattern sheet. It'll be easy to catch up. Also, this is something when the class ends, it's no problem to keep going. And before we forget to mention, when you're finished with your project, if you could have an adult hashtag it on social media, hashtag make it with Michaels, then we check out every single project. So does Michaels. We love it. We love to show everybody in our Perler office all your projects. You can also hashtag Perler and Perler Art Class. We love to look at everything. We love to see the projects. After today's class, you can also go to perler.com. We have a ton of patterns online that you can download and print. So we have different holiday patterns and food patterns and fun everyday patterns. So if you want to do some more projects other than today's teacher appreciation project, you can check them out at perler.com. And you are always welcome there. So you guys can go anytime. You anytime, want, right. Anywhere. And we are we're always putting up new ones. So you always check it out. one red I'm going to put it in there hmm. so I'm almost done with my salmon and then I'm going to start on the white I'm also almost done with my salmon you're doing great with your opposite hand <laughs> you. you're welcome but in the Q&A guys are you guys a lefty or a left? oh that's a good question are you a lefty or righty so I am a lefty, but poor Morgan has to use her left hand today because know, you right are right-handed. Right, so I just finished my salmon. Very good. And now I'm going to do my black, my two little blacks. That's the black part of the stem, yeah. I'm almost done with the salmon and then I'm going to start the white. Red, one black is done. Cool. 
So when we're done with the apples, we'll show you a couple different things you can do with them. We also put them on pencils as a pencil topper. You can put it on a bulletin board. You can buy magnetic backing and make magnets with them. We've made garland, we put on little gift bags. There's so many things. All right, so I just finished my, um, my black and the looking, and now it is finally time for the red. Oh, good. And I'm gonna start the white. Wow, you're going really good. Thanks. You guys wanna take a minute and put in the Q&A how you guys are doing out there so we have an idea? And remember, if we're going too fast or too slow, just say that in the DNA. Q&A. Q&A, sorry. And we'll um, go a little slower if you want slow. And when it's time to iron, we'll take our time with the ironing. We'll do it a couple times. But then, you know, again, if you don't finish, which is no big deal, if you have some ironing questions on perler.com, we do a video and full explanation on how to iron. We do love apples too, right? Yes. We eat a lot of apples at our house. And also in the Q and A, what is your favorite fruit? Mine is actually an apple. We do love apples. That's a good question. If you have a favorite fruit, you can tell us. You're doing great. So I'm just filling in the white. So Raphael has a question about ironing and he says, do you prefer to iron it flat or leave the holes visible? Okay, so a question came in about ironing and the question was, do you leave, do you prefer to leave the holes visible or iron them flat, meaning that they'd fuse together? So I'll tell you it's, Personal preference. It's up to you guys. It is up to you, but you'll see when we iron, we'll iron and if I like it where the holes are a little bit open, um, we also have a product called caps and caps are uh, perler beads where one side is closed. So we recommend those for kids 12 and over, but if you are using the regular perler beads, you can iron long enough that they would completely close. And it's all preference. Just how you want your project to look. You guys can decide. I'm almost done with the inside of my apple. You're doing great. Thank you. Can you knock that one off back Oops, Sorry. It's okay. That's the other thing. If you knock a bead, you just pick it back up. That's no big deal. We have another good fruit joke. Ooh, oh, I love the jokes. jokes. There's another joke that came in. So we're going to tell you the joke. What do you call an apple that plays the trumpet? What do you, do you call, call an apple that plays the trumpet? That plays the trumpet. Apple that plays the trumpet. The answer is a tootie fruity. <laughs> that was a good one. Thanks for the jokes. Yeah, thank you guys yes. for the jokes. It definitely makes it more fun. <laughs> yes. 
But is there any more fruit jokes that you I know. have? Okay. I don't think I know any fruit some, jokes. Some favorite fruits out there. Okay, Blueberries. let's hear your favorite fruits. Blueberries. Blueberries. Plums. Plums. A couple of mangoes. 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 So good. What else? We like watermelon. I we eat a lot of watermelon. You love pineapple. Pineapple, blueberries, mm -hmm. bananas. Bananas, strawberries. We've had star fruit. What's the other fruit that you asked us to get? The dragon, dragon fruit. fruit. Yeah. I love the dragon fruit. <laughs> I love dragon fruit. Pineapple. 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 Ooh. So you guys, let us know how you're doing as far as the project on our time. We can get started on ironing. We don't want to go too fast, but I think we're ready. Yeah. Okay. So do you want to, so you just hold tight okay. and I'll iron mine first. How does that sound? Good. But okay. for you guys, just remember before you iron, you need to have a adult or someone who will watch you while you are doing. Correct. We need an adult for the ironing. So it's time to plug in your iron if you haven't done that. And we set the iron to a medium heat setting. So our iron is plugged in, ready to go. So I'm going to take Careful. the pattern sheet away. You gotta do it very carefully. Yes. Oh, you knocked him. And then you get out your ironing paper. Looks like I lost a bead too. So you can put that back. Okay. So now we'll start the ironing. So you put the ironing paper on top of your project. And again, it's no water, no steam, a regular household iron on medium heat. It's over. Okay. And you start to iron the project. Someone's asking how long. Okay. So it is, I keep an eye on mine. That's how I determine how long. So I have a medium pressure and you can see now that I've started, I'm gonna remove the iron. It's becoming a little translucent through the paper. You can see the beads. They're a little bit darker, which means they're starting to melt. So how long you iron them also depends how you want the holes to look. You can iron them longer if you want them fused together not as long if you want them more open. Now this is the back side of the project. And again, it's personal preference. I tend to iron the back side just a little bit more than I would when I flip it over. That way I'm sure I'm fusing my beads. And for me, my personal preference, I don't mind that the back has the beads closed a little bit more. So you can see here, they're starting to fuse together. And this project has four beads at the very bottom of the apple. I would say make sure you get those with the iron. Yeah, so. Um, Hold on one second, honey. And then I kind of lift it up. These are still loose here. Let me just get through the ironing more in quick. And I do the ends. And I make sure I hit around the edge of the apple. And then I go up to the stem. And for me, I can see that they're fusing together and I check on them. I'm gonna do a little bit more on this end over here. But while she's ironing, I will say, so on mine and the apples, as you can see, there is some tiny ones on the edges, like here's one that has like a three one right there. You want to make sure that you guys iron that really, really well, those parts, so then they can all stick together. So they all stick together. So I double checked and mine looks good. You can see it through the paper. I'm lifting it up. I'm taking a peek. And then what I do is I take the whole pegboard, I slide it off, and I flip it over and take off the pegboard. So if you have another piece of ironing paper, you can put it on top, or I take my ironing paper and I fold it over the project like this, and then I iron the front of the project. Yeah. So, one second. So then again, you can see the beads are 
You're starting to see the beads. I'm gonna get the edges. I'm gonna do it just enough that they're fused together, but not closed. And if you want yours to close, you keep going. Take off the paper. There they are. Now it's a little bit warm, so you have to be careful. Someone asked that those end up warping, so suggest putting it under okay. a or something. So someone mentioned that they ironed and their project started to warp. So that does happen if you press a little too hard and all you, it's, it's an easy fix. You can put a heavy book um, or your bead jar on top of it you can go like this. You can and flip it over the opposite way that it's warping and it will just get back into shape for you. So I'm gonna take this one off. And after you're done ironing, it will be a little warm. So you wanna maybe put that aside. Yeah, careful, that one's a little hot. Okay. So now I am going to iron Morgan's. Tiny you know, apples. Tiny apples. And this will get done the same way. So again, your iron's on a medium heat, cover it with the ironing paper, and we will start. Medium pressure, like Morgan said, get the outer edges of the apple. And just remember before it starts warping and make sure you don't press too hard. Right. Because that will also happen. But if you guys kind of like do want what does that happen, you gotta press hard to do that. Right. And that will close the beads. Yeah. Well, what kind of stuff are you guys making? Yeah, well, what you guys do, we'd love to hear, and we definitely want to see. Don't forget to hashtag make it with Michaels when you're all finished with your project. I'm getting all the edges of the apples. And every few minutes, you want to make sure you touch your other apple to see if it's not too hot, but it's warm, like it cooled down. Before you glue it and do other yes. things with it, right? So you can just put that aside if you've ironed that for right now. Okay, so we are good. I'm just kind of checking my project by lifting the paper. Now I'm going to flip it. I'm gonna take the pegboard and flip it upside down and the pegboard comes right off. So again, you can use another sheet of ironing paper or fold it over. You want to carefully move these out of the way because then we can start to make our projects, finish our projects. Okay, so what's an evergreen's favorite fruit? What's okay, so we evergreen? have a new, we have a new joke that came in. What's an evergreen's favorite fruit? What's an evergreen's favorite fruit? Green apple, I don't know. What's an evergreen's favorite food? Fruit. What kind of tree is your Christmas tree? Pine? <laughs> pineapple. <laughs> A pineapple. That was funny. You love the jokes. I didn't really get that. Right? I'm like, oh, now I really get it. Okay. So now this has actually cooled down. Right. So now we are finished ironing. We're going to turn off our iron, put it aside. And we have a couple different things that we can do with the projects that we made. We have a couple extra that we made before class started. So um, do you wanna grab the ribbon? Yes. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we are going, we we'll use these cause they're cool. We are going to make bookmarks. So we have, we have red ribbon. Uh, you can use any kind of ribbon you have at home, any width, any color. Uh, this is, we had it pre-cut and we have some glue that we're gonna use. We also have some paper clips. Yeah, we're gonna do paper clips. So let's, Here. you wanna do that? Let's flip it over. So we have the back side. Yep. And, and I might have to help Morgan here because she's a little one-handed. 
Yeah, and we're gonna put some. Not too much? No, nope. just never too much. <laughs> Craft glue. <laughs> and again, um, a hot glue gun would work for this. Hot glue gun would work. For just you. make sure you have a parent with you. There you go. Okay, so we're gonna put. <laughs> and, and we're just going to move it to the side and let it dry while we finish doing a few other things. Here's another one. So here's the ribbon. Okay, and now this just has to dry. So you guys have to leave it out so that can actually um, dry. So that's going to dry. We'll show you. We did one before the class and this is what it looks like. So we have a great bookmark then. <laughs> so cool. Love it. And it looks great in the journal. So if you did a small apple and a big apple, you could put the big apple on the journal and you could also give the teacher a bookmark or paper, a paper clip. clip. And here's what the paper clip looks like. And then for our journals, so we got the journals at Michael's and we have stickers. So we bought stickers. We did one before the class that says best teacher. Uh, we also have markers. We have um, a Sharpie that you could write anything on. You know, thank you, Mr. Hathaway, best teacher ever. Or your teacher. You know, from Morgan, thanks coach. You know, here's your new playbook, whatever you want to put um, on the front. And then we are going to glue, I'm still a little warm, we're going to glue our apple on. So just okay. make sure that your project is nice and cool before you start. Okay, Morgan, you want to put the glue on? Yes. Question on what type of glue? Okay, so we're using craft a craft glue. glue that we found at Michael's. Um, you could use an Elmer school glue. You could also use a um, hot glue gun. Like a thick white glue is what's going to work best for you. Real hard, but I'm good. <laughs> One handed. And, you know, our bookmark is drying very nicely with the craft glue. <laughs> there you go. Okay. okay. So Morgan put the glue on. We're gonna flip it around. Where do you want it? Top, middle, bottom? Top, let's see the top. You want it up here? Yes. Is that good? Yep. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Do I have an idea? What? I don't know if you'll like this, but what if we take a small one that's different and do a small one? Sure. Okay, so let's put some glue there. You got it? Yep. So which small one that Yep, one? let's do this one because it's a little bit different than this apple. Ooh, a big flower. You're good. We also made some treat bags and we put our apple on the treat bag. You got it? So shaky. Yeah. That's okay. Good job. Were you done? Yep. Okay. So we're just gonna put out where do you want this? Here. Here. What about right over here? Tilted? Yes. On an angle. Thank you. You're welcome. And then that will dry and clear up. Okay, and should we do one paper clip? Um, I think it's good like this maybe. Or but I mean, just to shot. show our friends how to yes. do questions on the paper clip. Okay. okay. So the paper clip, we picked up black and red because we thought that they went well with and the color of the project. The colors, yes. And so you just have to make sure that the open part of the paper clip where you're gonna clip it on a piece of paper or a notebook is facing down, facing towards you on the table. And then we'll show you before we put the glue on. Yeah. So we will put it on. And then in the end, you'll be able to clip this on any notebook like this. It can be anything, it doesn't even have to be a notebook, you guys. Right, it could be your papers at school. Mm -hmm. Okay, so put this, the glue, I would say put a little bit closer to the bottom on this one. Can you get that out? You need some help. Mm -hmm. A little bit more here, let me help you. All right. 
No problem. One handed. Mm -hmm. Okay. So put the glue on. Put the paper in, the, in here. And have to hold it for a couple of minutes until it starts to dry. And then we'll put this aside over here with the bookmark why that dries. Oops, that did fall off. So I'll just put it back on. I didn't have it up high enough. There we go. We're good. Okay. So I think we've covered everything, right? We've done a journal, we've done some paper clips, we've, we've done, done a bookmark. bookmark. Uh, here's our pencil we did earlier. So we did tops of pencils. And we did what else? The gift bag or the apple. The gift bag is just to glue on the apple and then you're right. Done. It could be just a paper bag that you have at home. Um, it could go on the top of a gift. It could be, you could make garland out of it and put ribbon on a few. Yes. So there's lots of things you can do with this project. Um, I think we've covered about everything. One last we have joke. One, one last joke one before last we joke. go. All right. What's the teacher's favorite dessert? What's the teacher's favorite dessert? Um, apple pie. P.I. P.I. Pie. Pie. <laughs> pie like math pie. <laughs> Got it. That was a good one. So thank you guys for joining us. We made a ton of stuff. We, we did. Guys. We made a ton of stuff. This was a really fun class for us. We hope it was fun for you. Um, just remember, we have plenty more patterns on Perler.com. We'd love to see this project especially. So hashtag make it with Michaels. Throw it up. Hashtag Perler, hashtag Perler class. A shout out to all our amazing teachers. Um, thank you for sharing your teachers yes. with us. And we're glad we had a chance to say their names out. We love ours, right? Yes. So much. So we hope you guys have a great rest of your school year. And we hope that you're back with us for another Perler class in the future. So thank you guys for coming and have a great day. See ya. Bye. Bye.